On February 25th, Muhammad Qasim saw a dream, and in this dream, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam came out of his house after making wudu for Asr prayer. He was old and needed a stick to walk. He called out, asking, Is there anyone to take me to the masjid? But no one responded and everyone remained caught up in their own work. He became very upset and started to walk towards the closest masjid. When he reached the masjid, no one had waited for him and the prayer had already finished. He became even more upset and depressed that no one waited for him. He started to walk towards his house and again, no one offered any assistance. I had just finished doing difficult work and met Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam near his house. He said, Qasim, you came to me when the prayer is finished. What's the use now? No one listened to me or took me to the masjid. I said, don't worry. There's a huge masjid far ahead where prayer hasn't started. So how about I take you there? He said in a sad tone that Qasim, you couldn't take me to the masjid that is near. So how will you take me to the masjid that is farther and catch prayer on time? You don't have a car either, so it's fine Qasim, just leave it. I will just pray at home. I told him don't worry, if I got here earlier, then I would have taken you to the masjid on time, and Allah is with us. So I will take you to the masjid with the help of Allah. So he said let us hurry and go to the masjid then. Now I became worried. I don't even know the way, nor do I have a car. Now only Allah can help me. So Allah said in my right ear, Qasim, pick up Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and run. I will take you to the masjid. So I picked up Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam in my arms and ran. Then I started to run in the air with the mercy of Allah. He became very happy upon seeing a huge masjid in front of us. He was even bragging about me saying this is my son who has taken me to the masjid with the help of Allah. The people got up for prayer right when we entered and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam read the prayer with others. I didn't enter the masjid because I didn't have wudu. I told myself that if I had wudu then I would have prayed with them. The masjid was very big so by the time I finished doing my wudu the prayer would have already finished. And if I did wudu before coming here, then Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam would have missed his prayer. Either ways, the good thing is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam got to the masjid on time with the help of Allah. I gave thanks to Allah and started to watch Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam pray.